morning. Welcome to the Outdoor Archives. No, I'm not in the woods today. I've been pretty busy with work lately and uh, unfortunately I haven't been able to get out there. Um, I've needed to kind of stay around the house for a bit. So uh, a couple of projects I've taken on here which are going to help the channel anyway. Um, my first order of business around here was to get my gear organized. I've been stockpiling gear for a number of years from garage sales, from eBay, from Amazon, stuff I bought from friends, and um, you know I had some stuff in the shed, a few things in the garage, some stuff in the basement, and the night before a trip, you know I'd be running back and forth. It would take me hours to uh, to find all the gear and, and things that I needed to uh, go on the trip. So I actually decided to uh, you know get a couple things and make my life a little bit easier by organizing them. And it's a tip I wanted to share with you because it only took maybe an hour and a half, two hours at the most, uh, and the cost was pretty low too, so um, I'm going to go inside and show you what I did. Okay, we are going to jump right into it here. I was lucky enough to have an unused basement corner for gear storage. I had to place some spacers behind the pegboard, and I started here by drilling holes into the concrete. Make sure you use a good quality concrete bit, and a hammer drill will help this process along as well. I had some pieces of wood lying around so I cut them into about 6 inch strips and then drilled some pilot holes. You can either use some scrap wood or get some 1x2's from the lumber yard. I used 4 wood strips for my project. One on the top, one on each side and one on the bottom. When they are finally cut and pre-drilled, I used Tapcon screws to secure the strips to the concrete. I used Tapcons because I didn't have the proper concrete bit and the package came with the correct one. When all your spacers are secured to the wall, it's time to put up the pegboard. I just use simple wood screws for this and don't forget to take out your level in between each step to make sure that things are still lined up. Now just a note on hooks. These are pretty inexpensive. This is just your basic pegboard hook and you see it has one anchor point. Problem is with that anchor point it seems to wiggle a lot and fall out pretty easily when you pull off your items. Um, these are really inexpensive and you know easy to find. These are also pretty inexpensive. They just they're pretty much the same except they've got that one extra uh, point of contact, so it won't really wiggle around that much. And they are better than these, but still not perfect. And finally, these these are called talon hooks, and they're pretty pricey. But when these go into the pegboard, you actually screw them in, and it expands. And this thing is solid and doesn't move. So something to look at if you're going to be lashing a lot of things. So you should see beside me here the finished product. So I've got all my basics uh, here. Everything really but uh, shelter and sleep systems, which obviously you can't fit on here. But my idea here was I'll come down the night before. I'm going to grab my backpack or sling bag, whatever the trip uh, requires. I'm going to start on this side. I'll start inside here, get my flashlights down here. I've got my water purification. This is a, you know, a bigger uh, water purifier if I'm bringing my kids with me or this is a smaller one if I'm just doing a small trip. I'll uh, come over here. What pot will I need? I'll need a larger pot, a smaller pot. Well, I need a stainless steel bottle. This is a, an insulated bottle. I've got some stoves down here. Um, this is my everything bag I like to call it because it's got a little bit of everything in there and you know if I can just, I throw this in the pack, I've got almost everything all the little knickknacks and everything that I need for most trips. Uh, and here I've got you know tarp stakes, tent stakes, uh, and uh, some rope as well. This is an emergency um, first aid kit. I do have some first aid items in here, but if I'm going to be you know gone for more than uh, more than a few hours, I'm, I'll probably take this guy with me. Of course, some food. I can just quickly grab one of these and and off to the trail. Um, just some little knickknacks. I've got my knives here, depending on the trip. Saws, depending on the trip again. Axes I'm going to take, some sharpening tools in case before the trip I want to, you know, just do some touch up on the edge and um, that's about it. Now, a lot of these pouches are, you know, either Maxpedition, Ma uh, VanQuest, things like that. You can also get some dollar store pouches. I think those are going to work just as well um, and it's going to help keep your gear organized. So I want to just do this quick video for you. I think this is, you know, helpful and it certainly has helped, you know, me take take it to the next level because I had things in bins half of it was all you know different parts of my house and, and the night before I'd have a whole bunch of bins open and you know cleanup was a disaster where now I just kind of go grab the pouches I need pop them in my backpack and off I go to the trail so 
I think it's been pretty helpful. Um, if it's been helpful for you, why don't you give me a big thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.